kids nobody knows what happens on a priyadarshan set except priyadarshan luck is the biggest factor of it all <laughs> yeah luck is genuinely the biggest factor of it all and i have seen it with my own career and my life he would like pay attention to the smallest detail which is the candle at the back whether it's lit or not but priya uh, to, to priyan sir it doesn't matter he shoots two to three scenes a day whereas uh, whereas sanjay sir would shoot uh, two mm-hmm. shots a day uh, initially I, obviously i used to get quite affected by it i was upset as well welcome to one and all uh, ladies and gentlemen today i have with me someone who has managed to make his mark in the film industry right from his very first film malal and his next is about to be released on the 23rd of this month we're talking about hangama 2 and the person that i have with me right now is uh, the tall and the handsome mizan jafri salam mizan salam sir thank you so much for having me don't call uh, me sir come on <laughs> thank you for so don't call me sir okay i'll call that you that is really chalo <laughs> okay sandeep sandeep, sandeep. <laughs> okay okay thank you sandeep uh, thank you for the lovely intro and it's lovely to be talking to you well first things first mizan you've got to give my regards and my love to your dad because I think it's adorable. I was in class two or three when Boogie Boogie started off, and um, I mean, for the next seventeen years, I was completely hooked onto it. So, I mean, that's the that was uh, one of my most important uh, agendas to come and speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I will for sure. All right. Uh, so to begin with, uh, your first film was with uh, Mr. Bansali, and your second film was with Mr. Priyadarshan. You're surely on a roll. What do you have to say about it? I mean, how do you feel? Uh, I like to think so. I mean, it's it's a it's it's a big opportunity. I'm truly honored, uh, you know. And I've thought about this as well. Like you said, that the first film was with Sanjali Labansali, and the second one is with Priya Darshan. So uh, I think I'm lucky to be working with such big names and big directors so early on in my career. And um, with Priya sir, of course, it's it's uh, it's an honor. And uh, you know that. Uh, after looking after seeing my work in malal that he he uh, trusted me with this film and uh, you know gave me this opportunity you know so i think that was a, a very big thing for me because he told me that you know i saw your film and i and i liked your work and uh, just on the basis of 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 seeing my my film and my work he gave me this film uh, you know there was no audition there was nothing uh so i think for such a big director i who's directed this is a 96th film so who's made films of all genres you know i love him and i think the whole country loves him and the kind of work that he's done we all know him and and his films and yeah. for me to be a part of one of his, that uh, uh a part of that filmography is 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 a very uh, big deal and uh you know i'm truly uh i have nothing but i'm nothing but gratitude and and you know i'm humbled and honor uh, like it's an honorable thing for me to be a part of uh such a film with such a star cast and working with such big people and big names uh, so early mm-hmm. on in my career uh when you see mizan when you talking about um when you know we're talking about uh, uh mr fansali and mr priya darshan both of them i mean it would not really be an exaggeration to call them uh archers for that matter and uh, come to think of it when you look at their films there is a distinctive a very unique uh, i mean mizan sen i mean as far as you know uh, their approach towards directing a particular uh, scene or uh, framing a shot right. or, you know uh, the entire color combination when you talk about pinsali it's, it's all opulence and it's uh, i mean he actually focuses on every integrity on i mean everybody does that but then you can clearly demarcate between their style what according to you um, i mean as an actor since you worked with both of them uh what according to you is one of the main difference of the difference is the main the major difference i mean it could be in terms of uh, them giving you uh, um, i mean uh, a gist of what the shot would be like or whatever the main difference is uh, that sanjay sir shoots yeah. so basically uh, you know the two uh, i think the main difference would be that uh, like you said sanjay sir focuses more on you know the 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 framing of uh, what's going on um uh, and uh, he would like pay attention to the smallest detail which is the candle at the back whether it's lit or not but priya uh, to, to priyan sir it doesn't matter which is why priyan sir shoots much faster as well you know he shoots two to three scenes a day whereas uh, whereas sanjay sir would shoot uh, two mm-hmm. shots a day uh, so that is a big big difference and um, and uh, i think uh, in on sanjay sir's set an actor has more time to uh, 
I think he has more time to himself, you know. But uh, but on on Priyanka's set, an actor is just on his feet. He does not get time to go to the van also, uh, because once Priyanka starts shooting at seven a.m., he does not like the actors to go and sit in their van. The actor has to be there on set at all times, uh, and he's going to shoot till five five thirty p.m. And then after five thirty, he does he doesn't shoot. Then you have all the free time in the world to do whatever you want. Um, and i think it it's it's a more it's a more um light uh, hearted um ambiance on set uh compared to sanjay sir's set because on sanjay sir's set i think it also depends on the kind of film and you know what the, what the scene is because uh if the scene is like something very serious yes, or dark exactly. you know then you know it it takes a toll on on everyone on set because everyone has to maintain that decorum But when it's Priyanka's film, everyone is in full musti because that's exactly what has to translate on screen as well. Absolutely. Um, at the same time, you know, when uh, uh, I mean, when when you talk about uh, a film that's been directed by Mr. Priyadarshan and especially Hangama Two, uh, the cast itself is humongous. You have uh, Shilpa Shetty, you have Priyanka, right. you have uh, um, Ashutosh Rana, you have uh, Mr. Rajpal Yadav, and there are so many. And all of them have literally worked with each other. Worked with the Prince uh, in in various films. So did I mean? Did it ever occur to you that I'm the odd one out here? And uh, what am I doing here? I always said that. Yeah, but I am. Uh, I was. Um, and uh, Shilpa ji, Shilpa ma'am as well. Actually, uh, it's her first time working with Prince Sir, and uh, and it's Pranitas as well. So the three of us were the odd ones out. But I think we sort of. uh got ourselves accustomed to the world and the people super quickly because they are all a bunch of uh loving super loving and fun people and uh, really easy to work with and a great atmosphere and everyone has been super friendly so it's been a lot of fun and uh yes i did think of myself as the odd one out but all the more reason uh to be able to give it not my 100 but my 1000% because i'm the odd one out uh because you know people already have seen the others perform in princess films and they know they're going to do a wonderful job but for me uh it's a it's a challenge so i take it up as a challenge and i try to give it uh double the amount of effort and you know give it everything to try and give try and outshine and try and outdo everyone in the film uh and i think yeah i think that's what i've tried to do i've given it my 100% let's see how people react to it when the movie comes out I'm sure. I mean, people did take you. Uh, I mean, uh, in your first film, very nice day, and people kind of appreciated your work and uh, your expressions. And I'm sure they're going to be doing the same in for your next film as well. So, I mean, thank you. Talk. Thank. Uh, you know, when we're talking about, uh, I mean, I am a film student myself. I was. Uh, I had done film direction from Shruti Chitra Film and Television Institute. So uh, I right. cannot help. Yeah, I cannot really help, but uh, you know, uh, think about these two directors and their perspectives and the way of, you know. Perhaps taking a shot or whatever. Uh, uh, when we're talking about uh, uh, Sanjeev Dutt and Sally and uh, Priya Darshan together, uh, both of them have a distinctive style towards me filming the climaxes. I mean, be it in the writing or you know, uh, for instance, in in Priya Darshan's films, mostly and especially in in the films that he's done, situational comedy, there is such humongous amount of chaos that's going on. people are like literally running around through the sets and they are i mean some some clown is jumping from i don't know from where and from trapezes and all of these things are happening um uh, and as far as you know uh, sanjeev la fansali is concerned it's more it's 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 on the grandeur side of it uh it's it's grand but at the same time it is it, it all comes together in a wonderful way it it's like forming a full circle for that matter uh when when we talking about the climax scene of this particular uh, film uh What were the challenges? Uh, because, uh, like we all know, all of Priyanka's films, the climax sequences are full of chaos. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and and it's about how beautifully he sums up all the other tracks that have been playing uh, in the film. You know, because there are a lot of layers in his films, and all those other storylines somewhat are woven uh, very beautifully by him, and they come together perfectly at the end. so um so i think that uh you know to be a part of that and seeing that come to life and at the same time because it is one of the most important scenes of his films and it has everyone 
it is the most uh, chaotic you know and in, and and the most uh, expected in terms of energy so the most difficult thing for me was to match up to the energy of everybody in in that climax sequence is this this you know, to be really practiced a little more practice than you are <laughs> 100% 100% you know they've done eight movies with prince so of course yeah. you know they're more practice uh, but uh, but we are all equally clueless <laughs> still because nobody knows what happens on a priya darshan set except priya darshan uh, you know the dialogues are given to you like 2 minutes before the shot mm-hmm. <laughs> so you don't know what's going to happen you just go there like a puppet and whatever he says you do that so uh, i think in the climax scene the most difficult thing was to match up to everyone's energies except rajpal uh, especially rajpal sir and uh, you know and to, and i was drenched by the end of it my kurta, my shirt was was in another color and his kurta was in another color and you know we are like fighting and running around and like pushing each other and saying the dialogues and i think uh, you know the thing i learned the most in priyanka's films now there's no gap so the tempo is so high uh that between even if it's not your dialogue he pays attention uh to the every character as to what the other characters do even if he doesn't have a dialogue what is he doing at the back you know so that's so important to maintain your character mm. and even when you are not doing something to do something you know even when you're not saying something to do something so i would have to always keep moving always restless mm-hmm. always doing some action or the other you know i think and that's what makes a priyadarshan film a priyadarshan film because every time you watch it you learn something new you see something new you see oh shit ye character ne to aisa kar diya this character has done this thing i never noticed this so you notice something new every single time and i think that's what makes it more beautiful every time you watch it okay uh dog mat hangama 2 it's the film is releasing on an ott platform i don't even trust me i don't even know the full form of the word ott i don't know whether it's called over the top or what but it's ott and it's ott uh what according, according to you is i mean for instance if, if if i would have been an actor or perhaps you 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 definitely are an actor and it's always um i mean an aspiration of thoughts to see your own film on the big screen so the fact that uh, you know it's on an ott platform uh disney hotstar uh was it a little bit of a blow on uh, on that aspiration uh 100% i'm still a little upset uh as to why as to it not releasing it in the theaters but at the same time i think somewhere or the other you um have to accept the reality of the situation because this is something that uh what happened to the world was super unexpected you know covid took over and affected us all in some way or the other and i think every industry is dealing yeah. with it in 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 any way that they can uh yes definitely the film industry has been hit by it super hard uh, one of the worst hit industries uh, because of covid but then again there's ott which comes to the rescue of some people not everybody because the people who work uh, whose livelihoods are going on uh, with theaters are you know super affected by it so i would have 100% liked uh for you know the movie to be released in the theaters and because i feel the theater going experience is a very sacred experience that has been going on for a very very long time in every culture so i think it's something that we want to maintain for the rest of our lives at mm-hmm. least and i hope that we can do that and we're trying to i think we all need to focus on reviving that industry and culture as soon as possible and uh, yeah and you know this film in particular was made for theaters and you know the visual spectacle that pre prensa has portrayed on screen is uh you know is is something that we've never seen before with uh, in in films you know himachal and the mountains that we've shot in you know that beauty of india has never been showcased before so i i just hope that you know we could show it in the theaters mm-hmm. because theaters justify that visual and uh, you know a small screen will not but nevertheless uh, you know you have to adapt to the times that are there and uh, we i'm glad we have and i'm happy the movie is coming out on hotstar and people will be watching it because at the end of the day the purpose of the film is to entertain people and to bring a smile on their faces and what better time yeah. uh then you know now to be doing that absolutely um all right uh, i i have to conclude the interview but uh, you know there is one question that that is still lingering 
uh, especially, uh, I mean, it's because of the fact that we are all in the times, uh, in, in very uncertain times and, you know, the, with the pandemic and everything going on, uh, social media has literally blown out of proportions in every which way. Right. And uh, with the proliferation of social media, there is a proliferation in the number of, in, in, in the number of people who actually, you know, uh, get a sadistic pleasure in uh, trolling and bad mouthing and all of that for that matter. Uh, how do you deal with it? Do you actually mull about it a lot? Or, I mean, what is your process? Uh, initially, I, obviously, I used to get quite affected by it. I was upset as well. But then I think you have to be very practical and realistic in whatever it is that you are doing. And I think I'm a very practical person and very realistic also in my approach, uh, which is why I understood that, you know, today there are people who are frustrated and are just sitting and just because they have the freedom of saying anything they want without facing the retaliation or the consequences of whatever they say, uh, they say whatever the hell they want, you know, sitting in their homes or uh, wherever they are on their phones. Uh, so it doesn't matter to me uh, because exactly. I, I, so, it, you know, I, I don't Would take you it have the slightest heart. iota of knowledge of what's actually going on in the world. Sorry, sorry, it got lagged from your uh, side. What you were saying? Uh, when I'm saying they say whatever they want to, especially without having the slightest iota of knowledge of what exactly, uh, I mean, is, is going on. What exactly are the going yeah. on in that particular person's life or what is the yeah, situation? Yeah. Right. So, you know, I, I mean, I don't get affected by it. I try not to. Uh, and uh, at the same time, I just have to continue doing my work because, uh, you know, I think... Uh, the industry people are smarter than that and they today are, uh, you know, will give you work based on your talent. So I don't think that, uh, you know, people judging that uh, is going to make a big difference. I mean, like, yeah, at the end of the day, of course, it's the audience that holds the decision. But uh, I think it's the majority that uh, you have to uh, cater to and not just a few people who have a few bad things to say. So I'm fine as long as, you know, there are more people who are happy with my work and are saying good stuff as well. And I just uh, go ahead with whatever those people are saying and I let that motivate me instead of the other people trying to sort of demotivate me. Uh, I once had a conversation with Shah Rukh Khan and I kind of asked him the same question. Uh, the fact that, you know, when he, was, when he was at a young age and he came out of Bombay, uh, he had a certain kind of a mindset. And today when he has his own children, he's almost achieved the entire world. Uh, he definitely has a different kind of mindset. His, his uh, perspective towards, you know, uh, choosing a particular film has also changed and everything has changed for that matter. Uh, I actually wanted to know, uh, what, uh, I mean, the fact that this transition happened, what was the basis of it? And uh, today, the fact that you are two films old already and uh, you're just 20, 25 or 26? 26. Yeah. Uh, so the fact that you're 26, um, there is a lot of time that you're going to be spending in the industry and I'm sure you've seen a lot from uh, your father's experiences as well. Firstly, uh, what is that uh, parameter that you would perhaps want to work on in, in yourself? And uh, the second thing is, uh, what are your learnings from, from your uh, dad's career, uh, from your father's filmic career for that matter? From father's filmic career... Too many learnings that I can't really sum it up, but there are a lot of things in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, let's see, most of them obviously I can't talk about as well, but yeah, there are a lot of learnings and, uh, you know, whether it, uh, I think you also evolve over time because you start understanding what yeah. the audience expects from you. Uh, you know, and mm -hmm. what, uh, you know, what they want and, 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 uh, you change your route accordingly you know because there's sometimes you could feel that okay i'll do this movie and i'll do super well but then you realize it's completely backfired you know like oh my god i, I can't be taking this route at all and i need to be sticking to something else or sticking to what i've been doing all this while but then also that could backfire because uh you know you have to keep uh, evolving with time and doing other work so i think it's a very tricky uh thing to answer because you know if if there was a simple formula that someone one could have followed everyone would have followed and become Shah Rukh Khan so uh, <clears throat> you know I think Shah Rukh yeah. has also faced a lot of difficulties and and uh, you know in his uh, in his times and his work 
and he started to evolve with it and look at where he's come out today so i think time is what uh, you know what defines all of us and how we turn out at the end of end of it all but right now it's just the beginning of my career and i'm just taking it slow yeah. and steady because right now these times are also very confusing as to where the industry is headed so we are i think my decisions will be yeah, yeah, you know exactly. uh, on, on that factor whether our theater is going to be open now or are they done for good is ott going to be the future or what is going to happen so i think uh, and there's a big debate about this worldwide so i'm just waiting on on these matters to be a little more concrete and to get my answers i think i will by the end of this year or next year and i think then i'll be able to take decisions more freely but right now i'm just taking it as it comes and uh, i do have a few projects lined up so uh, yeah i'm just going to do those for now and then see it as it comes you know i'm not uh, in a hurry to go anywhere because like you said i'm just 26 years old i've just started my career a uh, long way to go and a lot of lot of work to be done mizan um okay i i literally i mean i enjoyed the conversation it was a wonderful uh, i mean a very enlightening conversation a very candid one at that uh, the one final question that i'd like to ask you before uh, we end this interview is uh, what according to you are the main ingredients or the main uh, i mean components or whatever uh, that is required uh, to actually excel in the film industry and okay uh, first of all is your person like your pr okay yeah second is uh, obviously talent i'm not and this is not in order huh? as it comes i'm just saying uh, then is talent yeah then yeah. is uh, uh, confidence luck luck is the biggest factor of it all <laughs> yeah luck is genuinely the biggest factor of it all and i have seen it with my own career and my life today whatever i have got is purely based on luck it's not even nepotism nothing not hard work of course will come in the work that i get but in order to get the work has just been luck so uh, i think luck plays a, plays a massive massive factor and uh, yeah and talent of course has to be there yaar because luck will play a factor once twice three times four times but uske baad to it's your talent which will take you forward so if that's not there then it's game over so of course hone your craft and work on your talent and hopefully you are lucky <laughs> absolutely it was a lovely lovely time i had with you uh, mizan i actually same here sandeep uh, thank you yeah. bye